sir. We got a lot of quality news on Polkadot. Make sure you subscribe to the Coos because the first ever airdrop season is coming to Polkadot. First big one, dead. You just need to get your dot off exchanges. If you're on desktop, we suggest Talisman. Now 6 million dot staked, earning over 16% APY waiting for the airdrops to roll in. In Varch, a DAO tooling blockchain secured by dot is dropping a portion of 20 million Varch tokens to anyone staking more than 50 dot. And Staking DOT through Bifrost, a liquid staking blockchain secured by Polkadot, will keep you qualified if you want to keep things liquid. And while you're in the ecosystem, make sure you head over to Destination Hydration, a new name for the highly liquid but low slippage Hydra DX DeFi shop with a now official announcement of the DOT dollar holla and lending and borrowing with more runways opening up, a trustless channel to Stellar Network via the Pendulum blockchain secured by DOT, Hyperbridge, now test Net V2 incentivizations for relayers, Kusama first, but Polkadot soon to popular ETH L2s, then Snowbridge to Ethereum itself, ready for governance activation by the end of this quarter. When we get beefy on Polkadot, all this happening in blockchains around Polkadot, but if all going well, the core Polkadot chain should be steady. Crane? This week's Polkadot relay chain data in a flash. Fees count down to the usual base levels in the 250s. Network growth continues with nearly 18,000 new accounts created an increase of 70.5%. Extrinsic calls reach over the 100,000 mark, no change to the week before, and over 21,500 cross-chain transfers were executed, a substantial increase of nearly 40%. The wormhole bridge saw around 4 million flow into DOT and around 4 million flow out. The Polkadot treasury now holds 42.9 million DOT, amounting to 320 million US dollars. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, Crane. And did you know that many contributors to the Coos started in WAG Media, where they're now awarding $77,000 to fresh content? Follow that media WAG. We need all the help we can get covering all this news. Centrifuge Real World Asset Pool up a cool $22.3 million already this month with still a week to go. Probably why the Web3 Foundation is working with them. If we're holding treasury bills anyways, May as well do it through Centrifuge. We want to support people that can do something with that money, right, uh, in our ecosystem. You know, let's try it out, see how it goes. Expect many, many more of those. And we have a banger interview with CEO Fabi coming out on the Space Monkeys podcast this Sunday. And then another real world asset chain, Curio, seems to be gaining attention. Heenan, how's that RWA trend going? This week's NFT news dump has RWAs with all the rage. Knives and Sokka experiences soon, their fourth quest up on Kokyo. The store finished piloting their blend of physical, AR, and NFTs. PAX discusses a Pokemon card worth 330k because of a printing error. And who knows what an NFT version would be worth. Various giveaways have already begun. In other news, Degener Style launches Remark Potentials on Base, expanding their collection, while the first Ruben piece in a while is now on auction for Canaria Background. Snake Soldier's Beta Battler is live, and Varch is leading the airdrop charge outside of meme coins. Speaking of, a star Degens will redistribute their dead tokens to holders. Maybe explains those 60 sales we saw Dead is also hinting at an Mnet metaverse. Dead games really supercharged unique networks NFT minting. Clearly, games can bring on the activity. With Everloot top activity on Moonbeam the last week, they are also reaching out for a part-time marketing advisor, despite their good traction. Pink's pre-launch party is coming fast. Royal Raffle ups the prize while KK humble brags about their King's Pad investment wins. That's all from me. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, everyone. That was an epic week. If you missed any episodes, head over to the channel and get caught up. Up before the Big Space Monkeys podcast on Sunday. Then we do it all again on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody.